Hello! Today is Thursday, November 16th, and uh, here's some more tales of adventure. Um, I have to say I'm pretty well tapped out at this point. It's been just a lot of things going on, and today we had a visit from immigration. In fact, the whole entire Linton Bay uh, Marina got a visit from uh, immigration and they were all checking to see if we had paid the new visa fee which I guess went into effect like over the course of the last month uh, which we didn't pay upon entry because that wasn't the rule at that time but now they've just changed the rule and now everyone has to catch up and pay and that'll be fine except we're also in the midst of trying to fix our windlass which broke so here's what's happened in the last week and we haven't even gotten through the whole week we left Shelter Bay Marina we did an overnight sail to San Blas Islands. When we arrived there, it was a downpour. Then there was no place to park our boat because all the anchorages were filled up. Then we tried to park it in one place and then it was unsafe, so we pulled up our anchor and burned out our windlass, which takes up the anchor. Then we came all the way, not all the way back, but almost all the way back to Linton Bay Marina where we limped in onto the dock and parked it here. And We've been trying to fix the windlass, which pretty much seemed like a no-go situation, so now we had to buy a new one. Um, not ex not uh, a cheap thing, that's expensive. <laughs> so in addition to the four months that we've already spent off the boat and mostly on land and the time on the hard and paying for everyone to be in hotels and all the um, fiberglass work and everything else work. Now we also have the windlass on top of this. And now with the immigration authority, they're basically saying that we need to pay about $200, which doesn't seem like much. And in the big scheme of things, it's not. But it's one of those, the straw that broke the camel's back. You weren't the, the first straw, you weren't the hundredth straw, you were the last straw, and now my back is broken. And I am just done. I'm so just not in a happy place right now. And Lenny was not in a happy place the past couple of days, but it's just, and now we have to go to this town, we have to take a bus tomorrow to this town to go pay the fee, because we can't pay the fee here, because they don't accept it here, so we have to go take a bus to the place where you pay the fee, and we spend all day doing that, pay the fee, come back, then we have to order this part, the windlass, which will then arrive at Shelter Bay Marina, which we know so well, and then we'll have to sail back there and deal with all the Panama Canal traffic again. And, you know, we, we kind of had this like vision of like, oh, we'll go to Panama, there's San Blas Islands, there's Bocas del Toro Islands, there's the canal, there's all these different things. Oh, we're gonna spend so much time there. And now I'm like ready to go. I'm just over it. I'm just so over it. And then we wanted to be in Colombia for Christmas because it's supposed to be so beautiful. We told the kids, you know, hopefully we can go there, but we don't know. And now it's like, we can't get there because we got all this stuff going on. And then it's like the weather window's closing for that. And then if we're paying this fee, we're not gonna like leave the country right after we paid the fee, but we can't leave without paying the fee. So they're gonna get you whether you stay or not because we didn't pay it from the time that they're saying that we should have paid it. I'm so over it right now. I'm so over it. <laughs> and the kids are just driving me nuts and we're doing lessons. I don't even know how I'm keeping up with that and everybody's super like three years ahead or something. So I guess I can hang my hat on that. Um, and I have like a six year old who has like the multiplication tables memorized. I guess that's my, my one saving grace in life that they're like super smart and very dedicated to their school. But I'm so over this right now. And I just, I just really want to be anchored off an island and just like getting in the dinghy and dinging around and swimming and it's just, because once we get the windlass, then he still has to install the windlass. So that's another couple of days on the dock, Shelter Bay Marina, or we might go to the Red Frog Marina, so at least we're in a different place. But it's like, either way, we're not getting the beach for like at least another week and I'm just, ugh. Just want to go to the beach. We should just like take a taxi to the beach so we can at least like get to the freaking beach or something. But I'm just so I'm doing laundry right now on the boat. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm doing laundry. Lens fits in with the windlass. The kids are playing on the boat because there's nothing to do in Linton Bay. Unlike Shelter Bay, which has a lot of uh, amenities and things, they have a little palapa you can hang out at. They have a lounge with TV and books and tables and a restaurant and this has like a little uh, dinghy dock restaurant bar thing. I'm thinking of going over there. I'm just gonna get trashed. I'm so over it. I'm just 
Anyone who thinks of doing this and thinks that, oh, I'll be leaving all the litigious life behind, because here's what happened. We were in Aurora, Illinois, and we bought this beautiful house, and had all these really craggy bushes. So I ripped out all these bushes. I was like, oh, I don't care. Like, I just had this baby. I'm ripping out these bushes. And then we had the um, homeowners association who came by with their little camera and took photos of our house while our kids were outside. So it made it like really creepy, like some random guys traveling around. Cause of course they don't have something that says like Aurora housing authority or something on it. It just says like, hi, I'm just some creepy guy taking pictures of your kids. Hopefully you know that I'm the housing, uh, association or something. Anyway, so we get a, a, a letter that says, um, you're in violation of our policy of not having your foundation showing. So you need to do some planting, some foundation plantings. And I was like, you know what? I can't take it. I can't take living in a place that's going to find me because I don't have enough plants in front of the foundation of my house. Like it's too litigious, too, too much government in my, in my business. And now it's like, if, if you're thinking like, oh, we'll be on a boat and oh boy, we'll be all the way from authority. Not unless you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or the middle of like the Pacific Ocean. And even then, I don't even know. But <sighs> so there you are. There's, there's the update. So they say highs and lows. The only, the only saving grace, the reason that it, this is like the first time I've been upset about all this stuff uh, since like breaking the windlass and trying to park in the rain and all this. I guess people say anchor. I just say park because it's just whatever. Anyway, um, is that one of our friends that we just met said, if you expect to live on a boat and not break things, then you're setting yourself up for failure. You must always expect that you're going to break something. And on those rare occasions where you go out for a sail and you get to your destination, you haven't broken anything. You should be quite happy and quite excited. And so with that idea, I thought, wow, all right, we got only one thing broken and you know, it wasn't the engine, which is 30 grand, which I'm waiting for that to go. Cause not waiting, praying that, you know, it doesn't go, but so there you go. So who knows when this video will get uploaded or whatever with our lack of internet, but the whole point is just to document that it's not all roses. And so let's see, the highs are, we can't actually get a windlass in Panama. So we'd have to wait for it to be shipped from America and the costs. So that's good. Positive number two would be that the kids are doing awesome with schooling and generally have ruled with all the punches. Um, and positive three health wise, everyone's healthy and we still haven't used up all of our money. So we can still keep trying to get to these islands. All right. Hopefully next time I'll be updating with some more positive stuff, but that's it. Gal out.